Hello, Ryan. If you were a politician, you would invest in public school education and after school programs. Among other things, this would help to address the causes of poverty and the beginning of poor decision making as early as possible in order to intervene and disrupt the cycle of poverty. Because by this time, or by the time that they're adults, their lifestyles and habits are already, for the most part, set and determined. Makes sense. All right, you asked me about my experience at R.E. Jewell Elementary School. So I attended from 1993 until 1998, and it's difficult for me to recall too many specific memories, but I'll give it a shot and conjure up a few of my fondest or most vivid memories. So first, we need a reminder of the arrangement of classes. There were three pods that divided the student body into roughly equal thirds. There was kids, seed, and gems. So I was in gems, which is Let's be honest, it's the Ravenclaw slash Gryffindor of Jewel. Kids, they were the people who peaked in high school, and Seed Pod, they were total Hufflepuffs. All right, each morning, we would begin by sitting on the floor of a big open area with all the students. Grades one through five, we turn the lights down low, and project the lyrics on the wall and just sing three or four songs. Great way to start the day. Some of my favorites were Puff the Magic Dragon and Should Have Been a Cowboy. I still often do that in the mornings. Wake up, play some positive music, maybe some Justin Timberlake, and set the tone for the day. Seam Sports was a big highlight. I always felt pressure playing sports, but seams football, basketball, and softball were pure fun. Seams made all the kids feel special, and it was a cool way to interact with other students who weren't in my class. It was pretty awesome that I had something in school other than just recess that I always looked forward to. I still remember signing up late for the basketball season in fifth grade. Mr. Seams had given his preseason rankings, and since I was a late ad, I joined the preseason last place team, but Seams ranked us at number two after my addition. Then I and my ragtag team of underwhelming teammates went undefeated and beat the Bulls in the championship when they had the first big three in basketball history. David H, Chris H, and Zach H. It was basically LeBron and the Cavs beating the Celtics or the Warriors. At Jewel, I remember making plenty of good friends, doing pretty well in school, and positively supported by my teachers. I think I usually looked forward to school except for some exceptional circumstances. So one negative experience was when I was assigned to create my own version of a Native American myth or folklore. I didn't know where to begin. I didn't have experience writing a story of a particular genre while forcing me to create my own story within that genre. I just didn't have the ability to brainstorm any ideas or find the starting point. And I tried for a long, long time without even writing one sentence. So I got super frustrated because I was a good student, but I was totally stumped. So I freaked out and I cried and I was so anxious about coming to class the next day empty handed. And eventually I asked mom to help me. Once I asked her and talked with her about a few of the characters and the general plot, that was the blueprint of the example story, but with my own altered details, it was really easy for me to finish writing that story. Um, you asked if my experience at Jewel set me up 
for success, and that's pretty difficult to evaluate. Uh, I made a lot of good friends. I felt safe and cared for. I enjoyed my time and learned some academic fundamentals. Let's just say there aren't too many glaring parts of my elementary school experience that I would go back and change. I had some great teachers, Mrs. Marlett, Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Webb, and Mrs. Gibson. I also had various uh, lengths of stints with music teacher, Mr. Cook, PE, Mr. Carew, uh, a little bit of math with Mr. Seams, and science with Mr. Winter. Uh, I honestly don't have one favorite teacher, but I'll give a shout out to Mrs. Gibson, who provided a good combination of a fun environment, but also having high expectations of her students as well. Okay, uh, my question for you, keeping with the theme of school, please tell me about your middle school experience. How was it better or worse or different from elementary school at Jewel and Bend uh, High School at, at Bend High? What were the major takeaways after completing eighth grade after finishing uh, your time at High Desert? And what was your general plan going into that summer uh, preparing for high school, transitioning from eighth grade to ninth grade? All right, I look forward to hearing your answer.